everyone this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new illustrated tutorial today I'll show you how to make a shape or a number with a gradient color I'm using the illustrator creative cloud 2017 and all the same function in all the um, just uh, version but um, the interface are changes and you'll get more feature in updated version that's it okay I'm going to the file and take a new options and take a4 uh, when you know um, where you will get this one here is a print options and you will get a a4 options and take uh, just make it uh, landscape and hit the create button you'll get a canvas which is a4 size enabled okay after that i'm taking a rectangle and making a rectangle like that turning off the stroke and going to the gradient options and make the gradient like that and select here and select this gradient this this gradient and and this one okay the blue or the light blue and dark blue okay after that making it um, another color just select here from a color like that this color that's good and going to the circle or ellipse tool and making a ellipse like that this one ellipse okay just make it turn it off and make the stroke black okay after that make a copy by pressing ctrl c and a for forward pressed and just make circle here this circle like that okay that's good and just Press Ctrl C and Ctrl F, Ctrl C for copy and A for forward press. Just press the Shift button, hold it. Just make bigger like that. Okay. After that, again press Ctrl C and Ctrl F and make bigger like that. And line is in the same alignment. Just make sure this one. Okay. Select all the things. Go to the window and align options from the here middle alignment. You should select and you'll get the aligned option in here okay select the ctrl c and ctrl f and select this circle and select again you'll get a prominent just shape and just make the alignment in a circle okay after that take the circle and select again in this circle and go to the alignment and left alignment you should do okay after that select this one and make it smaller like that and make copy by pressing cut altered button and just here keep here select this circle and select a bigger circle and go to the alignment and make it the right alignment okay all the things good and just select this one and place this one in the middle okay here is the a to the number and the other things okay after that go to the shape builders tool here is the shape builders tool and make a shape with that here is a shape you are getting this one is a shape and carefully when you are making shape uh, okay that's good you are getting a shape here that's good and nice and select here all the shapes like that okay and here is another shape like that okay but uh, this one is okay uh, and here is another shape our this portion is done and now I'll make another portion of this one okay this portion and make this portion like that and this one that's good our shape is ready but here is the shape left uh, you should select all the things and go to the shape builders tool again and select this layer okay all uh, eight our eight is ready and just make it black and a fill color uh, and just make the gradient in select here and make it uh, radial and after select this one press i from the i picker tool and select here you'll get a 8 from the here gradient like that and deleting the middle portion it'll make more shiny okay that's good you can add just the angles okay selecting this one and going to the just um, gradient option 
make it make it linear and just slide it slide it like that slider in the middle and press the here when you are getting the plus options and select here and select this color okay adjust with the that's good okay and all the things all the gradient uh, you can make it 25% press Z and 45% and 200% that's good okay all the things all the things selected and go there and make it 45% press Z 45% minus 45% and make it 200 uh, 1 VP is good I think Okay, so you should make this one 152, 150 like that. This one, okay, minus 45 and 150. But uh, plus 45 is good for this. Okay, okay, uh, that's good. If you want to adjust this one, you should. Uh, make it manually like that okay okay uh, here is this one you can make it smaller or in the middle or you can adjust with it okay uh, it's up to you how adjustment you will get okay that's good all the shapes is prominent here and you can work with it and uh, um, I think this one I should just uh, 150 and 450 <laughs> just 150 and 150 150 all the things 150 press ctrl z and make it bigger okay and just with the color okay our shape and other thing is ready make it group by pressing ctrl g and take a rectangle like that actually 2560 and 1440 and here i'll take a gradient like that this gradient and going here make it the radial make the color full white and giving like that making it reverse okay after that select this one and select this one select again this one and make it like that making it in a back skin and making it bigger after that going to the circle nine I left take a circle going to the ellipse tool take a circle like that and take gradient from here and make it radial make it reverse and make it black make it ash color or black that's good make it reverse after that make it stretch like that and just place over there and going to the effect and blur options and make it the Gaussian blur turn on the preview options Gaussian blur like that and hit the OK button after doing that make the opacity down little bit yeah your shape and logo is ready now you can use this one okay okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on the video comment section 
okay and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend till the next video i am asmr if signing out and bye bye